So I think one of the, the challenges uh, that uh, has been kind of understated in this conversation is the cost of, of managing mm. the, uh, the infrastructure. So right. the customer sets that we're working with are looking for predictable, scalable cost. I want to know I can t push a button on an ice lawn and in 60 seconds have another 100 terabytes available to me. That's simple. I don't need the, the cast of Ben-Hur to operate it. I need a few talented people. We have customers that have gone from a few terabytes to 15 petabytes. And their cost to maintain that, they do with two to three people. Yeah. I As think opposed that's really to, important. I think you're going to something really so important here. So in, in, the, in the environment that the government's operating in now with reduced budgets, cutting costs, uh, you know, I was at GeoInt and the, the primary message there is that everybody's going to give at the office whether it's the, you know, the, 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 the people that are doing operations right. and management, the integrator community, everybody's got to give. So the customers are looking for how do I reduce my footprint? How do I get a green footprint? How do I get a predictable model that I don't have to add three more people every time I add another 100 terabytes? And that's what Isilon provides to our customer set, is that we can literally go from, you know, four terabytes to 15 beta petabytes and 144 nodes and operate it with three, four people. And that is a model that works yeah. in a green environment. We have customers that don't allow anything to come in unless something goes out. They measure it by the watt, they measure it by the pound, they measure it by the number of people that it takes to operate. And we've had customers go from three racks down to a third of a rack of ice lawn. Wow. And they go, wow, yeah. just like you just yeah. said. Well, I